Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters in the USSC Wolf episode number 19, I think. I have some exciting news, besides the fact that we have an interesting mission here um, to go... What was it? A surface strike group, which sounds fun. Um, more importantly, no, maybe not more importantly, but I mean more exciting to me at least for the time being. I have been playing some Cold Waters. <laughs> I, no, I'm. this is Cold Waters. I have been playing some Dangerous Waters. And I'm having a blast, so we're just going to go for it. We're just going to try to fly through every submarine that we can, or every whatever those things are. They're coming, and we're going to wait for them over here. I'm not really willing to brave the deeper water. <clears throat> That's far away. This might be... Okay, 32. Let's see what this is. I've been playing some Dangerous Waters, and I'm pretty sure the very next thing we're going to be doing on this channel is going to be Cold Waters. <laughs> I mean Dangerous Waters. Okay, two contacts. <clears throat> Already starting to think that this might be... Okay, that's only two. Let's bring her up. To 50 feet, basically periscope uh, depth. New contact bearing zero, three, make depth one, oh zero, wow, it's right in front of us. Somebody asked why I tried to point my nose away from things, it's so my, so the contacts won't be in my the bath, like the obstructed dead zone of my toad array. All right, let's start identifying. I'm forgetting how to play. This is merchant, as I suspect it is. Yes. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as Sierra two. Merchant. Oh, I have Sierra three. Okay. This looks like a trawler. It's not. Oh, submerged. So I think this is a. Dive at one zero zero. So that, maybe this was the submarine that caught up to me. Con sonar oh, Romeo. Sierra That's a three is grave Romeo. As submerged submarine. And this looks like merchant. Con sonar, Sierra okay. Is they say that sonar operators, they just know Helm, instantly what they course. see, what it is. They just have it memorized. So let's start doing a little bit of uh, TMA against our Romeo friend here. Come right to zero, nine, four, helm, I. And what could the big question we had? So okay, besides the dangerous water stuff, which is going to be really exciting, um, should we have gone back to Guam to repair? Well, based on this so far, I would say yes, because we had much more time than I expected. I'm also a little bit worried about being in tip-top shape for the next mission, which could be the nuclear missile one, the end game. Uh, speed of time. Con, helm, steady course. Never know when that mission's gonna come, and we'd rather be in tip top shape going up against two Yashins, or Yasins. Um, this is the same layer with us. Come left to three, zero, Swing this zero, way. Helm, I. Probably good. Come right to three, two, five. Helm I. Oh, we're in our baffles. Steady course. Well, what's our confidence? It's gonna be dropping for a little bit. The fact that I'm in her baffles makes me. I mean, we we should not know that, by the way, of course. But she came right to left, so I believe. I'm just guessing that she's moving left to or right to left then. So that means that her baffles Con should be on this Sierra side. Two is so if we launch like this, we curl it in, it should be fine. It's cavitating. Alright, let's just do a launch here. Our solution has dropped dramatically, but I, I'm just going to launch because it doesn't really matter. And just in case this wire breaks, we'll... Shoot two, one. Yeah. Nice, sir. It didn't break, so we'll send it this way. Oh, she can hear us. I don't, just judging based on this, she shouldn't be too far away because she can, 
Uh, her active would not detect us, so it's the really quiet conditions. 83. We're gonna start dropping. Uh, get out of here. Get out of below the lair. <laughs> so it's very hard to dogleg when you don't know the information. <laughs> Our solution is down to 32. So we'll just do something like this. We have lots of deep water. Passing 200 feet. Oops. Let's go this way now. Just want to verify she's not over there. She's not. So let's just keep her on basically the Passing cone. 300 feet. The edge of that cone. Passing 400 feet. I think we got her now. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar. Noise maker. Passing 600 feet. She doesn't even know where we are. Fire patrol. Weapon countermeasure homing. And she's not going to. Con passing 700 feet. Con sonar. Noise maker. Bearing zero two five. Passing she's fighting. 800 feet. That didn't work out for her. Okay, that was good. Nice, exciting. Stop my descent. <laughs> I think we can leave this one and continue to wait for our next objective, which again we probably should have tried to engage earlier. There it is. Oh god, come back, come back. Get out of the shallow area. Oh god. Ah, oh, we got her. <laughs> Didn't want her to enter the shallow waters. Um, we're going 10 knots, so I did get my right click off. Left click is fast and right click is the patrol speed, so I did get to patrol speed in time. That's actually really important. Um, this might be a TASM mission, but I'm going to leave it at 5, 2, and 1 for now. Contacts are at 108, which is believable based on our position on the strategic map. Let's man battle stations. On, so Bring ship for ultra quiet. And we did manage to get the deep water, which is great. That's increasing our chance of survival by a lot. Our new contact bearing. One, two, three, designated zero. Okay, two, left two. let's pull this zero, up, six, get our one, contacts L9. going. Okay. Con sonar, new contact oh bearing. my one, god. Zero, six, designated zero, oh one. lordy. <laughs> It's the biggest, it's the biggest ship, I don't think I've ever killed a Kiev. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're taking this deadly seriously. Left two. Zero, Holy cow. Three, zero. Helm, I... This is insane. Awesome. I'm like, I'm a kid in the candy store. Con sonar. Sierra yeah, we don't care about is that. Classified as merchant. This is crazy. So cool. Oh man, and Udaloy, these are not Sierra fun to deal with. One is classified as escort. Two of them. Sonar. Sierra two is classified okay, as escort. Okay, active is almost detecting us. Active on this Udaloy can. Which one's this? Come left two. Sierra one. Three, two, zero. Helm I. God, please turn quickly. Um, okay, we need to get down. Prepare to launch. We need to keep a very narrow profile. They probably already have us. Yeah, yo. Where are we? Passing 200 feet. Are they dipping near us? Don't be doing your dipping near me. This is disgusting. Three helicopters and a bear out there. Passing 300 feet. Well, it's gonna be exciting. Come right we need some two, kind three, of. Four, two, uh, what's this looking like now? Is it possible they didn't get us? Oh my gosh! Even now, we're pretty detectable. Well, I don't, I don't know how to deal with this. We're not in position to do this quite yet. 
I'm actually gonna come down on the dive planes even. Passing I wanna get deeper, quicker. Come left to three, zero, four, helm I. I'd rather be the one launching first, but... Alright. I don't think we have much choice. Passing Boy is so feet. close. Come How's right she looking two, now? Three, one, eight, help five. Nine. We took her down to five. She's gonna be able to detect us very quickly. Come left two, three, zero, so let's go ahead and two, take her nine. out. Surface. What the hell I'm doing? Well, you probably aren't. I, I wanted every one of those to potentially, if any of them lost the wire, I was going to leave them as tar as the one that would target the Udaloi. But I wanted to get a few out there so that I could start targeting the. Uh, there, there's by the way, there's probably a submerged contact somewhere that we haven't even seen or heard or whatever. Okay, now, this is a mess we're going to sort out right now. So one is going to go to the Kiev. Surface, surface, surface. Two is going to go to the Kiev. They're going to go right under the Udaloi. It's not like the Udaloi is not going to know where we are. Can we make my depth 800 just to make me a little feel a little safer. Eight, zero, zero, eight, die, bye. Now tube 5 is going to go for Udaloi. We're actually good now, we're negative. And tube 6 is going to go to the great beyond. Probably this Udaloi? Ooh, we're beyond range. Well, we don't know what's going to happen in the end. <laughs> so we'll have one spare. <laughs> Maybe it'll go for the Dubna. Maybe it'll go for the other Udaloi. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep the Kiev very busy though. She's a little bit further away than we expected. Dive at eight zero zero feet. Dive by. So this Udaloi now has a better read on us again. Okay, that Dubna's closer. That's great. Actually, let's get two to peel off for her. Oh, okay, they've counter launched. Okay. Come left two, two, five, seven, helm high. Okay, they've heard our torpedoes. They've actually launched against our torpedoes. So it's probably a good time for us to launch Moss Aye, at them. They are dipping right next to us. We gotta keep an eye on these torpedoes though. Okay, who is the lucky one? near us. <laughs> I hear him. <laughs> That's where the it was. Dubna is this way. Okay. 
I don't know what this one's gonna end up doing, but it missed the mark. So far we've done okay. We're probably a little bit more detectable now that we're... Okay, that is looking good. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. That Dubna. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, four, Like, zero. who cares about anything but this? Oh my gosh, this is so awesome! <laughs> she's launching, she's counter-launching. But she is not gonna avoid this one. Ah, oh, awesome. So awesome. She's still afloat. I'm not going to play games, am I? What happened to the other torpedo? Alright, let's take this guy over to the Kiev. So far, so good. Kiev is going to be going very slow. I'm going to have to launch, air launch at the Dubna, but that's fine. We have Tasms to spare. There it is. Um, we can get one last torpedo away against the Zuduloi. It's going to be a long time before we need to do that, but... <laughs> Look at this. They were, like, right above us. <laughs> Con, fire control, weapon Make turns. Make turns for four. Let's see nine, this thing limping along. Oh up. my gosh, that's some listing. Oh boy, that's some listing. Nine, maneuvering, making turns. I don't think this happens, four, but there's nine. if there's pr progressive flooding modeled in this game, this thing would have sonar, noise maker, a very, bearing, very difficult one, time. Three, I don't think they have toad decoys either that absorb torpedo hits for you. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh, but here she comes. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Whew. Con, dive at one five zero zero eight. Dive by. Bon voyage. Arrivederci. Noisemaker bearing one three five. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was so awesome. Just, I still want to, like, look at her. Can we get the Kiev up again? Oh my gosh, it's so cool by the way. Torpedo room, tube eight ready. These things did not save her. Passing 1600 feet. Wait, 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 what's going on? Oh god, we were hit. Oh, our flooding acting up again. It's not that at all. Way to the reactor space. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Stupid flooding. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knots. Come left to two zero six helm eye. This is gonna be a little difficult now because we have to deal with flooding. All I need though is a course. Most of the most of the things we have to worry about are dead. Actually that's not true because Yeah, look at those depth charges going off. Passing fifteen hundred feet. Let's level off, but keep our ballast high. And I wanna aim another one at this Uloi. I don't think that this guy's even in range. We cannot get this Dubna, so she's going to have to be eliminated. Uh, she doesn't have any um, anti-missile defense. This is like a fleet tender. Well, I mean, she doesn't have anything to tender now <laughs> to take care of, but... We still plan to eliminate her. 
Okay, we're doing okay without Main dive planes, so I'm gonna slow back down. Not maneuvering eye. I doubt we're gonna be able to evacuate any water or dewater. I think it was called. <laughs> to find that, I find that a strange word, but it's, that's what it is. What we really need to wait for now is this Udaloid to close the range. I assume she is. Avenge your friend. Uh, and in the meantime, we basically just want to watch out for some aggressive submarine stuff. I mean, helicopter stuff. Passing 1,400 feet. Yeah, we are going down. Let's try it with the rudder up. Maybe that. Maybe that's all we need. Just a buoy. It's just a buoy, guys. Just a buoy. Um. Uh, wait, no, that. That was not just a buoy. Was it? We got a circle runner <laughs> right above us. Fortunately, not descending. Okay, and looks like this is keeping us just exactly even. So let's go up a little bit more. Con torpedo room two point ready. Okay. Something exploding up there. Passing fourteen hundred feet. Come let's left. Go this two, way. Is the zoom way identification L9. going? 58% confident that she is way too far away to launch. So, we're just gonna move forward like this. Con, helm, steady course. Passing they probably dropped another feet. buoy. That one stopped. Ooh, another torpedo in the water. Oh wait, step charges? Oh, they are. That's pretty. Uh, uh, that's pretty Come aggressive. On, torpedo room, tube six ready. I'm not sure if they know exactly where we are. They obviously are not going to be able to use MAD for detection. Um, having now played a little bit of Dangerous Waters, I can see how difficult these things are. You would have some buoys in the water, but I think it'd be pretty difficult to tell where the sub is. You have to use triangulation for multiple buoys. But I guess you could do that if they were directional. I mean, if you even have three, you should have a decent enough idea. Okay, let's stop the uh, dive planes. Neutral, leave them at... Okay, now we gotta go. Make turns for three, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing twelve hundred feet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing one, one, two. Contact faded. Passing thirteen hundred feet. I'm not sure how mo how much they model things like um, the explosions not being able to go down very easily. Actually, we're thinking that this guy is pretty close. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. Shoot two one, I sir. I will go up to the surface, cut the wire. I should take care of that. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing zero three seven. Well, we aren't going to get out of this perfectly clean, are we? Passing fifteen hundred feet. Knuckle formed. 
Oh god, it still got us. Passing 1300 feet. Passing 1200 feet. Con, knuckle formed. Passing 1100 feet. Passing 1000 feet. Passing 900 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 700 feet. Passing 600 feet. Current direction this way. Okay, that's fine. Come left to zero four eight helm I. Hmm. Con helm steady course. Another torpedo in the water. Passing 600 feet. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, five knots. We'll drag this one away from the other one before using countermeasures if it acquires. It actually didn't acquire. Passing and it, it was close enough feet. too. But, but hopefully no by the time we're bearing. out of the next one. one. Uh, hopefully we're out of its range by the time it circles again. So there's been some noisemakers S for knuckle. Interesting. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, they're just scanning us. Okay, well can we, while we're up here, get rid of the flooding? Be nice. Let's go up to the surface. Passing 800 feet. How many helicopters are we dealing Passing with here? One. Feet. Got the Uloi. Yeah, Passing four helicopters. Feet. Good lord. We haven't seen the last of those guys, I guess. <laughs> Passing 500 feet. Alright, let's control this flooding and see what else. We still want to get rid of the Dubna. We are cavitating. That's Make not less than ideal. One zero con sonar no longer cavitating. Passing three hundred feet. We just we need to avoid the helicopters. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay. Come left to. Two, nine, I almost eight, don't even no, care. Nine. I basically need any kind of reading on the Dubna. And actually, we can just use why there's nothing else out there. We didn't have anything else out there. And Con maneuvering, making turns. One, zero. It's actually so far away that I don't really care about that torpedo. Passing 200 feet. It's kind of hard to manage, to manage because as your flooding goes down, your buoyancy goes up. So if you aren't counter flooding, <laughs> if you aren't, you know, adjusting that, basically, you're gonna start having problems again. Make turn. Make turns for zero. Okay. Break ship for ultra quiet. No, don't break for ultra quiet. Maneuvering, making turns. Prepare my damn reactor. Five knots. Got her. Dubna. Okay. Let's see if one does Come the on, trick. Come on, torpedo room. Tube one ready. Shoot tube six. Aye, sir. Whoosh. And one maybe the helicopters won't see. Probably get a radar, a new radar contact. Wonder what the hell that is. They do have buoys right on top of me, but. Baffles. It's Come right, right so we don't lose her in the baffles. Two, four, helm, I. This torpedo is actually going the wrong way entirely. It's snaking too. It's not circle. So we don't have to worry Come about that right one at two, all. Zero, seven, two, helm, I. Flooding is coming down, which is good. 
thing just whiz by a few helicopters. <laughs> So I have to keep eyes over here while I also keep eyes on this thing. I didn't even do pop-up, but it doesn't need to, because what it's going for right now does not have the capability to defend itself. Quiet. Oh god, we're about to approach. Okay, that's good. Pants off me. Holy cow. But apparently... <laughs> we got it. Oh man, the flooding is uh, so hard to control. Can we just... No, gotta get rid of this flooding. Make turns for one, zero, not maneuvering on. Don't do it. Gun maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, not. Alright, let's speed this up. Passing 100. Oh god. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Don't try to do this at... Oh, well, we got rid of our flooding. Okay. Aircraft nearby. Fine. We'll, we'll just wait for that to go away. <laughs> Alright, here he comes. Go away. Don't come back. Eh? There we go. Hooray! We did it! <laughs> what a mission. I've never, I don't think I ever, have ever sunk a Kiev. That's just fantastic. Excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder trans Pacific convoys. Sync Pack sends regards to you and your crew. Await additional orders on this downlink. Whew. Cargo ships from North America and Japan continue to ferry goods into the region with minimal losses. This has been attributed to efficient cooperation among allied naval forces. The convoy system work. You know what? I think that the more important headline would be Russian carrier sunk. Kind of funny that this is happening in light of the recent Russian carrier fiasco or the, the fire and the potential decommissioning or scrapping or whatever is going to happen to it. Recent satellite overflights is on to web reloaded on Chinese freighters in the last 24 hours until believes these ships will transit to flood. People don't like the way I say this, but I like to say it in... <laughs> I like to say it not Vladivostok, but I like to say it Vladivostok. Anyways, the PLA must not be allowed to get these reinforcements. You are therefore to intercept and sink these freighters before they can make the safe harbor. Be aware of commercial shipping, visual identification advice. I do like this mission. One of our mission priorities, by the way, is avoid detection by enemy ASW patrols. And I've basically been <laughs> advertising my position in order to acquire more kills. Yeah, okay, probably not the ideal thing, but um, so... They're actually transiting from this city. I don't think this is said quite correctly. But we'll leave it here. I don't know how, I still need to go back to port at some point to repair. Um, I'm not sure if now's the right time to do it. Probably not, 24 hours is definitely not enough time to get to port and back. I kind of like this mission, I think we'll do it, and then we might, if we have like a commando mission, or, you know, we'll just let the commando insertion happen. So, yeah, and then I kind of, let's just tease this a little bit, but Dangerous Waters has been a lot of fun, I've been playing it on my Discord with some people. Um, I actually find the helicopter a lot of fun to play as, which is only fitting considering it's giving me so much hell in this game. So, I don't know how I'll be doing that, I still need to learn submarines a little bit better. And, yeah, I mean, that's just going to be a <laughs> a long-term project. But I, I imagine that the next series on submarines won't be cold waters. It'll be dangerous waters. So that's it. Until the next video, thanks for watching and take care.